Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on working with tickets in the SalesLogix web client. In another video, we saw that we can add a customer service ticket, and we're now going to take a look at the tools you can use to progress a ticket through to resolution. First, I'm going to navigate to a ticket that I added recently. I can edit any of the fields and details that I require, but remember to always save your data when you do this. Notice that now I have changed the status, the Journal tab reflects this change, providing a good audit trail of what has happened with this ticket. The Details tab is where I can add information about the issue and also the resolution when I get one. Next we can go to the Activities tab and I can schedule activities in the usual way so that I can follow up on the ticket and not forget to do things in order to reach a resolution. I'm just going to schedule a to-do to do some research into the problem. Note that by starting from the ticket view my to-do is associated with the ticket. Once you've filled in all the to-do details, just simply save by clicking OK. Notice that now I have scheduled an activity, the visual ticket timeline starts to build. Let's imagine that we have fast forwarded and completed the research so I can complete my activity in the normal way by clicking complete. The main difference that you'll notice with the tickets area is that there is no notes history area but rather a ticket activities tab where completed activities show. The main reason for this is because ticket activities extends the functionality of notes history and allows you to quickly and easily add completed items and also assign cost to them and even spare parts if the call is a physical service call. Let's imagine that after our, our research we called the customer and discussed a fix. So I can simply click in and type in the comments field and then press save. If I want to be more detailed in what I enter I can use the advanced button. Let's imagine we have had to visit the customer site to fix the laptop which is a chargeable event. Start by typing in what you did in the comments field and then click the advanced button. You're now into inserting a ticket activity. Choose the type of activity and then input your start and end date and time. Notice that this now calculates the time spent on the activity. You can also then assign a charge type to calculate a labour fee. It should be noted that the administrator can set up the charge types and rates. You can also specify if any parts were used during the visit under ticket activity parts. Again, note that the administrator must first set up parts in the system products area.
Once added, a total fee for the visit is calculated and it would be straightforward to compile a report to show all chargeable ticket activities. Once all the detail is added, click Save and the ticket activity is added. The tab called Ticket Activity Parts will list all parts used in resolving a ticket and notice that the ticket timeline is continuing to build. The punch in button allows you to start timing any work you do on a ticket. Simply click on punch in and then later when you punch out the system automatically adds a time ticket activity that you can edit and save accordingly. At any stage during the life cycle of a ticket, you may want to send an email with the details, status and even resolution of the ticket. Let's pretend that we have now performed all the activities we need to do so we fill in our resolution and then close the ticket. We now want to send an email confirmation to the customer. Click on the email button and specify who you would like the email to go to and whether or not it should include the ticket information. Click OK. An Outlook message will appear with the ticket number, status and subject in the subject line and the details in the main body of the email. Using the Send SLX button will send the email and record the email in Ticket Activities. If we look at the Journal tab now, it shows the full audit trail of the ticket, including when and by whom the ticket was closed. Finally, we can click on the Account Service Information button, which will provide a high-level view of the company and contracts. Well, that's about it. Everything you should need to know about working with tickets within the SalesLogix web client. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic video.